With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us solve this question. The question says that consider the data given below for hypothetical reaction A to X. Here time and rate of reaction is given in mole per liter per second. Uh, from the above data, the order of reaction is here we have four options, option A 0, option B 1, option C 2, option D 3. So here data is given uh, at different time we are given rate of reaction. So we have to find out the order of reaction. Now what you can observe from here at time 0 second we have 1.60 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 mole per liter per second. At time 10 second rate of reaction is same. Then at 20 second also the rate of reaction is same and at 30 second, uh, 30 second we have 1.59 into 10 raised to the power minus 2. Now it is approx 1.60 into 10 raised to the power minus 2. Now we know that we are having this reaction A to X. A is here reactant and here X is product. Right. Now we know that with time the concentration of reactant decreases, right? With increase in time, increase in time, concentration of reactant, reactant decreases, right? With increase in time, concentration of reactant decreases or you can say the concentration of product will increase so as you can see here time is increasing it means the concentration of a concentration of a will be uh, decrease concentration of a decrease now when uh, it means we can say that concentration of a is decreasing but rate of reaction is still same now we know that rate of reaction if we write down general equation rate of reaction uh, reaction is equal to k into concentration of a raised to the power n where k is the rate constant n tells about the order of reaction right order of reaction now if you see here concentration of a is decreasing with time but rate of reaction is still same so we can say the rate of reaction does not depend on the concentration of a so from this data we can say that rate of reaction is uh, will be equal to k into concentration of a raised to the power 0 because uh, because it is not depending on concentration of a that is why it is same so from here order of reaction is 0 as n is 0 so order of reaction is 0 so here the answer will be option a 0 so option a is the answer Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.